Hello and welcome back to our introduction to JavaScript on Code Academy conditional statements. This is truthy and falsy assignment. Truthy and falsy evaluations open a world of shorthand possibilities. Say you have a website and want to take the user's username to make a personalized greeting. Sometimes the user does not have an account, making the username variable falsy. The code below checks if username is defined and assigns a default string if it is not. We have here let username and it's assigned an empty string. Then we have let default name. If username is true, then default name should be username. Else default name should be set to stranger. If we console.log default name, it will print stranger since the empty strings evaluates as false. If you combine your knowledge of logical operators, you can use a shorthand for the code above. In a Boolean condition, JavaScript assigns the truthy value to a variable if you use the OR operator in your assignment. Here we have let username be assigned empty string, let default name be assigned username or stranger. It will console log default name and it would be stranger. And this is because OR statements check the left hand condition first, the variable default name will be assigned the actual value of username if it is truthy and it will be assigned the value of stranger if username is falsy. This concept is also referred to as shorthand circuit evaluation. Instructions. Let's use short circuit evaluation to assign a value to writing utensil. Do not edit tool yet. We'll return to tool in the next step. Assign to writing utensil the value of tool, and if tool is falsy, assign a default value of pin. So let's zoom out. And it's going to be very similar to what we did here, right? Here you sh short circuit evaluation to assign writing utensil variable below. So let writing utensil be assigned tool or default value of pen. So here it should check if tool has a value. And if it does not, writing utensil will be assigned pen. Let's run this. And it does log the pen is mightier than the sword. And that is because writing utensil was assigned pin. Number two says, notice that text, the pin is mightier than the sword locked to the console, which means the value of writing utensil is pin. What if we reassign the value of tool to marker? Let's see what happens to the value of writing utensil. Here we would do marker, and once we assign it here, it's going to check if tool is truthy or falsy, and since it will now be truthy, it will print out the tool is mightier than the sword. Let's run that. And it did. So what we're learning in this lesson is truthy and falsy assignment and how we're able to use this shorthand way of checking if a variable is truthy or falsy. And if so, giving that value to another variable. And that is through short circuit evaluation. If it is falsy, then the default value will be stored in our variable. If you're understanding that, you're getting this lesson and I'll see you in the next one.